Hello everybody. I'm here on the Mystic River in Medford, Massachusetts. And I'm about to take my Tahe Beach Shoreline paddleboard for a paddle. Um, I really wanted to paddle more this summer, so I'm trying to get out and do that more, at least a decent amount each week. Going for six miles, we'll see if I hit it. Uh, if I can, I'll do a little more. I brought water, I brought extra sunscreen, so why not? There's a ton of fish swimming down there, you can see them. And, uh... Morning. Six mile an hour speed limit apparently, not being abided by. Definitely hoping that this I'm seeing is not just a bunch of poop. It's windy, so of course now I'm having a hard time approaching, but I'm not gonna get too close or this mother goose is gonna bite the mother you know what out of me. Uh but look at this shit. Oh my god, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then on the shore, there's 28, 29, 30, 31. 31 baby geese. At least, I might even be counting poorly because they're moving around with two, two adult geese. That's nuts. And now I'm floating backwards. Good afternoon. So many lily pads. And if you look closely, they're filled with ping pong balls and nips and a couple of bobbers. I should come back with a trash bag. Going through Medford, Massachusetts. That's the buildings on your left. Downtown Medford, Mass. I guess I've probably been in Medford this whole time, but realistically, uh, now I'm in the downtown. Let's see up here. Little pigeons nesting inside of the uh, bridge. Really cute. There are a couple more. So funny enough, Bedford Mass is filled with these little tunnels along the waterway. I wouldn't say filled, but there's quite a few of them. Enough of them that you'll notice one if you go paddling. So yeah. Um, oh, I better start paddling. Now, I'm going to go in there. Uh, but yeah, you couldn't pay me to go in one of those. They're probably filled with poop and dead bodies. guy looks stuck on something because he's not running from me. Oh, sorry, little bit. Good. He's all curled up. I wanted to see if you're stuck on something, but you're a cute little guy. Give you a little give you a little bit. Want to go back in the water? Cool, dude. Four dudes in a tree. All right, I took a little bit of a spill back there uh, by the bridge behind me. 
Oh man, so now I'm a little bit soaked. I jammed my paddle into the mud. Uh, but I'm at about a little over four miles, so I'm turning around going back towards Medford that way. Uh, and also there's a dam up to the east a little bit, so just probably like 0.5 miles. So I, I might as well just keep going and miss that. But yeah, that's uh, halfway through, turning back. Also, also, I think it's worth a bit of time to uh, detail you on my paddleboard. So I have a Tahe Beach Shoreline, uh, about 10 and a half foot paddleboard. And I've had it for about a year and I've gone as much as 10 miles on it. And yeah, I, I've liked it. So I'm gonna give you a bit of an insight into what I like it for. So anyways, this thing uh, is about $450 at REI, or at least it was when I bought it. Um, as far as I know, I've looked it up recently and it's approximately the same, ranging between $450 and $600. So it's not super cheap, like a lot of the ones on Amazon, but it comes with the REI guarantee. And for what I've been using it for, uh, I've liked it a lot. It has a uh, GoPro mount on the front. It has a strap at the front, um, under my legs here in the middle, and another strap at the back. And it even comes with what I've got attached to me right now, the ankle attachment. And it has these little straps here, so you can strap down some gear. And it even comes with a paddle. And while this paddle is, uh, you know, not the best, I could definitely swap it out for something carbon fiber. Um, it does the job. I, it's not crappy like the paddles that come with a Lifetime Kayak, which I also own. Uh, it's not flimsy plastic. It's as far as I can tell, fiberglass, and it's a little bit heavy. Um, it's not like a nice fiberglass paddle, but I've banged it against like rocks and walls and gotten it stuck in the mud and tried to paddle and it hasn't snapped or really even scratched that much in the past year. I've probably only done about 150, 200 miles on this thing because I got it late last summer, but it holds up for me. Um, let me stand up real quick. Uh, it's quite stable, like I can rock side to side pretty well and it's not flipping. I even fell on it <laughs> up there and uh, I just fell onto the paddle board like halfway in the water but was able to pull myself back up with relative ease. Um, so yeah, it's quite stable. I put about 15 PSI in it and it feels relatively firm. I, I know there's faster things out there but you know, those things cost a lot more than $450. So I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Uh, all in all, making sure there's no boats coming. All in all, I, I like this. I'm glad I got it. And with this, in addition to my crappy kayak, uh, it's really nice. I can get out in the water and go for like approximately 10 mile days with relative ease. I am, I would say pretty fit, but not like a paddle boarder. I'm like a cyclist and a runner. And I can pretty easily maintain three miles an hour average on this, which it's good enough for me. I, I've heard good paddle boards. You can go like up to eight miles an hour and keep it pretty even there if you're like a good paddler. Not world class, but good. Uh, and I wouldn't consider myself good, so three miles an hour is fine for me. Anyways, I'm cruising into these lily pads and towards this bridge, and I don't want to have a bad day. So I'm gonna get control of the paddle again and have a little bit of a cliff bar snack. I've got one in my pocket here, and get going. These lily pads are slowing me down. I must be snagged. 